Ed Center Health. Looking out at Scottsville Road, a quiet scene right now, but that is bound to change over the next 24 to 48 hours. As we look at our weather headlines, mostly cloudy for most of Monday. That rain will start tomorrow night, and we do have that first alert weather day issued for Tuesday due to the impacts that we could be seeing. Let's get into the story right now. It's 36 degrees northeast wind at three miles an hour. That wind will change very much by tomorrow night and into Tuesday morning looking at Doppler max. We have nothing nearby. Thankfully, uh, skies are partly cloudy right now, but again, that will change tomorrow as we are expecting our next system to push in temperatures right now in the low to mid 30s across the region for our winning lottery highs for today. We hit 44 degrees Powerball up to 46 million and mega millions up to 165 million. Now let's get you through future max and this is the really what paints the picture for what we can expect expect. So tomorrow temperatures will be just below freezing. Skies will be partly cloudy. We're not expecting anything for the first part of the day as we advance to 3 p.m. Maybe on your way home from work or school temperatures are going to be right around that 50 degree mark and we will have that rain start to enter into the region. This is by 9 p.m. for most of the viewing area. Now as this rain starts to push in, Winds are going to gradually be increasing and gusting quite a bit Tuesday morning, especially when those winds are going to be really strong out of the south. Those rain showers are going to continue for portion of Tuesday, especially turning scattered in the afternoon and evening. And as those continues to push out, you see all the snow right here on the map. Now don't panic. We are not going to be having accumulating snow. The ground temperatures are going to be far too warm for any of it to stick and the wind in of itself will be blowing those flakes around. So it might look pretty for a little bit, but we are not expecting any accumulations across the area. Now temperatures will drop down just below freezing for Wednesday starting off cloudy and that will continue and we will see some of that sunshine peer out for portions of Wednesday. Now future max gust. This is tomorrow. This is around dinner time. Winds aren't too, too bad, but as we progress into the overnight hours, those winds are going to start cranking upwards of 35 to 45 miles an hour. Certainly a possibility with those gusty, maybe even some a little bit higher. And as we continue into Tuesday, especially after that rain starts to subside, those wind gusts are really going to increase and we could see power outages. We could see some potential tree damage. So just be mindful of that if you have anything outdoors and also have have your devices charged as you're heading Monday night into Tuesday, just in case rain the next five days. This is the most colorful I've seen the map in a while here. We have a pretty active pattern for the week. And as we look at chances for rain, we are up to 100% chance for Tuesday. We might see some of that linger into the early portions of Wednesday, but then Friday is really our next system we're keeping an eye on, but we're trying to take things one system at a time as we go through this. Now, future rainfall, we are expecting one to two inches for most across the region. Could have a few areas upwards of over two inches for tonight, 28 degrees, partly cloudy and looking at your Monday planner again, upwards of 52 degrees and that rain starting at the end of the night. Again, we have that first alert weather day issued for Tuesday, heavy rain and gusty winds. Wednesday morning, we might have breezy conditions with a possible winter mix possible, but then we do turn much cooler.